Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to show you a basic tutorial on NRF L1 radio modules. But first let me talk about NRF L1 modules. It is a single chip radio transceiver for the world by 2.4 to 2.5 GHz ISM band. The transceiver consists of a fully integrated synthesizer, a power amplifier, a crystal oscillator, a demodulator and enhanced shock burst. Some people do get confused on these radio modules, since they have the same form factor as the ESP01 Wi-Fi modules. The NRF modules can have a range of 100 to 120 meters. These modules are known as transceiver modules, means each module can send and receive data. The modulation form factor of these modules are GFSK and the maximum data range is 2 megabits per second. You can see two NRF modules in the video. One is a transmitter and the other one is a receiver. They both do have a common address to identify each other and send and receive data wirelessly. The data is sent as packages. As you can see each package has a two digit number sent by one NRF module and received by another NRF module. And Adreno will decode it via serial monitor. So, without further ado, let's get started. This video is sponsored by Thomson Electronics. They are the best dealers in commercial supplies of electronic components in India with high quality products and a wide variety of category to choose from. First, I connect the NRF L01 module. Connect the Adreno. Since this module uses SPA communication, it's very simple to integrate the NRF24 L01 radio module to Arduino digital pins. You can get the circuit diagram, code and all the essential instructions from the video description. This is the Arduino code for the NRF communication. This is the NRF sender. First, we have initialized certain libraries for the function. We have the SPA library and the NRF library. After that, we initialize the RF24 radio module through the digital pin 7 and 8. Then we have the byte address of the NRF module. Then we enter the void setup. Inside the void setup, we have the radio begin function, radio open and the open write pipe address. After that we have the radio.stop listening function to stop the radio communication. Then we enter the void loop. Inside the void loop we have a delay of 1 second to send the text as hello from NRF. After that we initialize the test. Then we have the NRF receiver code over here. As that, first we have initialized all the libraries which are included in the functions. The SPA library and the NRF library. Then we initialize the radio modules for the digital pin 7 and 8. After that we have the constant byte address. Then we enter the void setup. Inside the void setup we begin the serial function to serial print and we also begin the radio function. The serial begin would be in 9600 baud rate. After that we have the void loop. Inside the word loop, we have certain functions as radio dot available. Then we have the character test as 32. Then we have the radio dot read function over here. After that, we print the radio function. These are all the Arduino code. Then we upload the Arduino code. After uploading the code, when we open the serial monitor, we can see the packages sent by the NRF module. This is a simple video which demonstrates the use of the cheap and reliable NRF modules which we can use in our future videos for a variety of projects. The modules can easily send and receive sensor values so we can take into consideration for our project. So guys, if you like this video, subscribe to our channel to keep me motivated to make such videos for you guys.